Hi my friends, this is going to be a quick video for the full moon that's coming up in Taurus on October 24th. This is going to be an intense full moon guys and it's going to affect us in different ways. Um, and rather do separate videos for each zodiac sign, I'm just going to kind of cover it all into one little nutshell here. But I'm going to pull cards around it and see what the general message is for us and the energies that are coming ahead. Uh, this full moon is going to bring up the things that trigger us, the things that maybe we have had a hard time with that have challenged us, um, maybe clearing out the last few kind of cobwebs and blocks in our life where we've been working on ourselves for a long time, but there might be a few little uh, buried pieces that are going to be coming up. Some of you are getting very flirty. Some of you are getting very much into that passion energy. Um, some of you may be having really intense romances. Um, however, because we are in the Venus retrograde, uh, th those may be brief. But I will get into that as well. So at the heart and soul of it, my friends, you have kindred spirits. So a lot of you are going to be looking for your soul tribe. You're going to be looking for your people. A lot of you are going to be needing somebody that you can lean on during this full moon uh, period. And you have to keep in mind, guys, it's not just on the 24th. Most people begin feeling the full moon energies three days before um, and up through three days after. Like that whole week, pretty much. Some people who are super moon sensitive, like myself, you guys are probably already feeling it. Uh, and we're um, right now at the time of recording this, I'm like a week and a half before the full moon coming in. So um, you guys, some of you have been feeling it for quite some time. Some of you are already beginning to feel it. Some of you will start feeling it a few days before. Uh, but you're going to need someone to lean on. And for some of you, this is difficult because you might not have people around you who get your spiritual path and who even believe in this stuff so you may be reaching out you know you may be watching more youtube videos and that might be a place where you feel like you're getting guidance or knowing that you're being understood you might be going into social media like some of the social media pages or like online groups or facebook groups that are coming in and that are helping you um you know just it, communicate with other people around the country or around the world who who get you and who are going in this are going through this together but for a lot of us because we're being triggered it's going to be really important to try to uh, lean on the right people not to the people who are gonna yell at us and say oh you're too sensitive or you know get your head out of the clouds and you know that make you just feel like your beliefs or your intuition is BS because it's not. For a lot of you, there's a really significant transformation that's happening this full moon. So think of it as a rough wave that's coming in and you're writing it out, okay? But that's at the heart and the center of it. You have surrender, okay? More butterflies, more transformation here, my friends. What does surrender mean? That confused the crap out of me. When I came into my spiritual path, I was like, well, I don't get it. If I'm trying to manifest, I'm supposed to be like aligning myself with something. I'm supposed to be taking steps in the right direction and then surrendering is giving up. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to work towards my goals or am I supposed to give up? I never understood that until one day, bam, it hit me. So if you're struggling with what this means, I would like to maybe help you a little bit here. When we surrender, we're still doing the best that we can, but we're not trying to force things to happen. And we understand when something is out of our control. We'll surrender it and we'll let it go. For example, sometimes, a lot of times actually, I have people that come to me and they want to know about a court case or about helping a loved one get out of jail. That comes up to me a lot. I don't do legal um legal like predictions i'm more kind of just providing emotional support for somebody going through that and providing like spiritual guidance but I, i'm not gonna give anybody legal advice never ever ever but you know in that kind of a situation all you can do is 
fill out the paperwork you need to fill out show up on the date you're supposed to show up you know get legal advice go to the right you know help center go to the right attorney do what you're supposed to do do your best but the rest of that is out of your hands and that's what you surrender the part that you can't control you can't control what the judge is going to decide you can pray and you can ask for 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 god or the angels to guide the judge, to, to help direct the judge, or whatever it might be. But that's one piece that you have no control over. And that's what you're surrendering. That's what you're giving to God. So I'm just giving one example there. When we surrender, we do the work that we can. And what we can't control, we don't obsess about it. We don't stress about it. We don't lose sleep over it. At the end of the day, we know we've done our best and we've given the rest to God. So whatever triggers are coming up for you, whatever things that you're struggling with, my friends, take the steps that you can to heal yourself. Take the steps that you can to remove yourself from toxic situations or toxic people. Uh, and then for the rest of it, you're just going to have to give, give it to time and your angels and your guides and God to help heal and to clear um, the rest with time. So um, this is a challenge we're going to be facing in the full moon, and this is abundance, okay? Some of you might really be struggling with finances at this time. However, the good news is, is that this struggle is being brought to your attention so that you can fix it, so that you can heal it, okay? so that you can heal it. It's not like money was really great for you and then all of a sudden, bam, full moon, and you're like, oh crap, all of a sudden I'm having money problems. Nope, nope, nope. It's been that way. It's been that way. You're just maybe noticing it more or you're just maybe realizing it more. And because this full moon is in Taurus, Taurus is pretty much the sign of like financial security, you know, having nice things, not like, you know, being obsessed with money, but the, the Taurus likes to be comfortable, you know, the Taurus doesn't want to struggle. And I think that's what a lot of you are waking up and saying, that, hey, you know what, like, maybe I'm not like saying I want to buy a jumbo jet and live in a mansion. I'm just tired of struggling. I don't want to struggle anymore. So that might be the challenge or the goal that's coming up in front of a lot of you over this full moon period and pay attention to the messages that are coming in pay attention to the things that are triggering you it might be a good idea to start writing a journal at this time if you are having a hard time you know pinpointing you know or figuring out what exactly is it's in relation to the money um, I am more than happy to maybe help try to provide guidance in any way that I can. Um, if you want to set up an appointment or something, or um, if you want to follow along with the social media posts on Facebook and Instagram, because a lot of those things I also talk about for free on the social media. So I'm sure things will be coming up um, over the, the full moon period about this, because this is a message from spirit. So if you haven't already liked the Facebook page, um, or followed me on Instagram, do that because I'm sure that spirit's going to have a lot more to say about abundance as we get closer to the full moon and through the time of when a lot of people begin to be triggered. What's coming in to help you is you have the Ancestor card, or we have the Ancestor card, I should say. So a lot of you may be having loved ones from the past coming in and wanting to help you and guide you. Some of you are having dreams of like grandparents or somebody you were very close to uh, who, are, who are popping in, who are delivering you messages. And some of you aren't necessarily feeling it that like in your face, but they're around helping us because I, when this card comes up, what this is telling me that a lot of you who are being guided to this video, your family has struggled for a long time. Like if you were to go back to your family history, you would see people who've been through some really heavy stuff. Okay. We're talking poverty, um, escaping from genocide, escaping from war, escaping from slavery, escaping from um, uh, sexual assault or patterns of like 
you know, molestation in the family. Like, we're talking heavy stuff that, like, follows, follows through the generations where we might say, oh, my family is cursed or there's a curse on my family. Your family is not cursed, but there's definitely probably been um, an inherited block or inherited uh, dr traumas, okay? So a lot of you are coming into this time where you're going to be the person in your family who breaks that cycle for the better. And your ancestors are coming up, you know, behind you and they're cheering on, cheering you on and they're trying to guide you and they're trying to help you because since they've passed on, they've been doing a lot of healing on the other side and they've been doing a lot of growing on the other side and now they want to come in and be these guardian angels and say hey look here's what I didn't know when I was on the earth that I needed to do and now I understand it now I see the bigger picture and I want to help you you know for some of you these are ancestors you've never even met you know they were like long before you but they're coming in to help and they're coming in to guide all right, my dears, and then our outcome here is harmony. Harmony is balance. It's peace. So keep in mind as you're going through um, maybe feeling loneliness and wanting to find your tribe and feeling stressed out and overwhelmed and worrying about money um, or like wanting more of a sense of family, whatever it may be, all of these things and desires and triggers are coming up for you because you're being given a chance to heal them the universe isn't trying to be mean okay like your angels aren't digging all this stuff up to torture you they're bringing it up it's being brought up so that we can heal it we can't heal it if we don't know it's there and even if we don't know it's there it's gonna hold us back right you couldn't be a zombie and be completely oblivious to the things that you haven't released but that's not going to do you any good, my friends. That's going to create blocks in your life. And all of this is coming so that we can get rid of the blocks. We can clear them out once and for all. So harmony for you is peace. It's joy. It's happiness. It's a balance. So you're coming together with a plan um, and balancing out things with money, balancing out things with relationships and beginning to really manifest the life that you want to manifest because I feel a lot of you who are watching this video um, have really been into things like the law of attraction and faith but you feel like it's failed you and you see other people and you're like why is this lousy person over here who's done all kinds of crap to all kinds of people why are they living such a happy life and here I am sacrificing and killing myself to be there for everybody and I'm still suffering and I'm still struggling like how come they get to have an easy life and then we start thinking that oh only the shady people you know get to be happy or only the dishonest people or um, you know whatever it might be we start thinking this way and it's not true so all of this is coming up so we can clear that stuff and to love ourselves and to believe in ourselves and to be able to call in this harmony and this peace and this abundance and these roses to me I feel like new things are blooming new things are blossoming um, the stars is to me like light, you know, being guided, intuition, inspiration. Uh, the birds to me are just messages coming in from God, from heaven, from your spirit guides, from your guardian angels. So a lot of growth here, guys. And I feel for a lot of you, this is the calm before the storm, okay? But I don't say this in a way to scare you. I say this as in... Like when you're get coming into action, when you're like, it's go time. So I think for a lot of you, you're piecing together the action plan uh, through this full moon energy. And then it's like, it's time to go. And when you get going, bam, 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 you're not playing. You're like, you're making things happen. You're just, you're, you're busting through those blocks and you're getting what you deserve, okay? Like, you're not going to suffer anymore. You understand that you're entitled to having happiness and you're going after opportunities and you're, you know, drawing a line and putting an end to people who are mistreating you. So there's going to be these rough emotions that come up, but all of this is fuel to the fire to help you make those changes. Um, again, if you need a private reading during this time, I'm more than happy to help you. I'm also very happy to announce that I am having a sell 
on uh, the psychic readings for the coming week, uh, which I believe is from the 24th. I want to say the 21st to the 28th because it's my birthday week. My birthday is on the 25th. And I want to thank you guys who've been watching the videos, who've been messaging me. So I was thinking of what I would do is do the 15-minute um, readings for $10.25 and to do the, uh, the half an hour readings for $25. So let me know if you would like to get in on that. Follow me on social media. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And till next time, my friends.